Howdy folks, this is Eddie Eldorado at Goldbug Park in Hangtown, California. Now y'all might be wondering why they call it Hangtown. Well, there's a lot of reasons. Think about it. Put on your thinking cap. Gold. That's why everybody came out here. From the Sydney Ducks to the New York Dandies. They all came out here looking for that magical metal that was going to make them all rich. Uh -huh. Well, that happened to a few of them. More than we care to tell. But the rest of them, if they made it home, they was in rags. Hmm. Long journey. Either by foot, stagecoach, if you could afford the trip. Or you can do what you did when you got out here. You walked the whole way. Now, the story goes there was three unfortunate fellers that were hung by the neck until dead as prescribed by minor law here in Hangtown, Dry Diggins. Now what happened was a whole group of miners, they were liberally lubricated with a tarantula juice <clears throat> and what we affectionately call out here coffin burnish furnished by your local liquor pig store. Anyway, they held a court right there in the uh, feedlot, which is now the Liars Bent's parking lot. <clears throat> if you ever get to Hangtown, look it up. Mighty interesting. But anyway, you can't judge these miners too harshly because, after all, this was the mighty gold rush anything went at the time. In fact it was so chaotic out here miners were writing back home telling their loved ones do not go to the mines. Do not seek the treasure. Because there were so many banditos out here, pirates of the plasters, people who wanted to make a quick killing literally at the expense of those who dug and dug and dug their fortunes out of these hills. And their quick remedy was a 44 or the Bowie knife. A lot of people didn't go for that including a man named Jonathan Davis who was the captain of the local militia. Well 11 banditos decided to surround Mr. Davis at the North Fork of the American River here in El Dorado County and the rest is reported in the Mountain Democrat as a sheer one-man battle for survival and Mr. Davis he won he won the battle it was a fierce gunfight now it's called Dead Man's Gulch but that's how it was back here. There was no law. You were the law. We are the law. Miners' law rules. And it is whatever they decided was kosher in their own community. Based on the old English common law. Oh, the law that was in common use at the time. Hmm. Okay. So Miner's Law said if you're a nugget nabbing claim jumper you ain't got no rights. That's right. If you steal from somebody else we're liable to string you up. And that was the law of the land. Everybody knew it and you were taking a chance. 
if he was a bandito. And everybody knew it. Hollywood tells you it was rough, tough, shoot him up on the streets all the time. Well, I beg to differ. An armed society is a polite society. Let me repeat that. An armed society is a polite society. Because if everybody has weapons, who are you going to piss off? Hmm? Right. You get the idea? So the old Hollywood shoot em up so everybody's riding into town, blasting their weapons in the air. Nope. Probably didn't happen. Besides the fact, ammo is freaking expensive. You think digging for gold is hard? Try digging for lead. Especially out of your backside, you piss somebody off, you know what I mean? So those folks that decided to skirt the law here in Hangtown, they had a particular name besides Saddle Tramp. They were called the Hangtown Hooligans. Not to be confused with the honorable, venerated order of E. Clampus Vitus which is a whole society that needs no explaining out here in Sierras. Look it up. But Hangtown Hooligans, they're a whole different story. Now the gold rush was over uh, 150 years ago. Here we are in the year 2015. Now, ain't much changed, really. If you look at the prices for the food back in the gold rush, pretty much matches what you got on the shelf today. Hmm, go figure. Is that inflation, deflation, stagflation? I don't really know, but you tell me. We was talking about Hangtown Hooligans. Now the miners' trail decided there was a whole bunch of people involved. There were suspicious characters that they rounded up, put in a makeshift jail, and this was their verdict. They was going to whip five of the individuals in a public flogging, and then they was going to hang three of them in a bigger public flogging because they was hangtown hooligans. <laughs> Hooligan breaking the rule again. Hangtown hooligan playing the fool again. Hangtown hooligan gotta go to school again now. Hangtown hooligan playing the fool again. Hangtown hooligan breaking the rules again. Hangtown hooligan gotta go to school again now. Hangtown hooligan at the upper room fence. Ain't got enough sense to pitch a tent. Getting socks thrown at me by a big old church band. My dinner from a 211 can. Ain't much change in 150 years. There are still saddled tramps and people are perusing the pachyderm looking for that elephant out here in the Sierra. Hang 
can hooligan playing the fool again. Hang can hooligan breaking the rules again. Hang can hooligan gotta go to school again now. Well, them Hangtown hooligans, they learned a valuable lesson in etiquette because all the miners demanded they be strung up at the old oak tree in the feedlot downtown. Now, of course, it was a fair and honest trial. And they really didn't have much to say in their own defense because they was outnumbered. There really was no law at the time. They made their own law. But they did have some certain folks that had a badge. Other folks had a noose made out of hemp. Every 10 individuals, out of every 10 individuals, there was one appointed constable. The rest were regular militia because you needed protection. There was no law, you had to make it yourself. So when these individuals were found guilty, they had no choice but to erect a gallows at the old oak tree at the feedlot downtown, dry digging. From then on, it was called Hangtown, Ropopolis, String City, whatever you want to call it. Hangtown got the reputation as a town that you do not, I repeat, you do not steal from your neighbor. We don't care who you are, where you're from. That's a big no-no. Uh, now the sheriff uh, led the outlaw up the gallows, 13 steps Boy, you've been convicted Of a crime you don't regret Now it's a hangman's job To put this round noose Square upon your neck Welcome to Hangtown Well, you told the judge, the men you gunned down, they didn't mean a thing. Now your neighbors are gathered on the courthouse lawn to see your sorry ass swing in the breeze. Welcome to Hangtown. The sheriff uh, led the outlaw up the gallows 13 steps. Boy, you've been convicted of a crime we can't forget. Those men had families, a life, and a future, and you stole it from them. So now you're going to swing, boy. whether you did it or not. After all, history ain't too harsh cause this was the great days of the gold rush. A 
could use a New York dandy or one of them Sydney ducks. I guess if you do something wrong, boy, you just flat out of luck. Uh, now the sheriff led the prisoner up the gallows 13 steps. Boy, you've been convicted of a crime you don't regret. Welcome to Hangtown, String City, Ropopolis. I guess they learned your lesson. The hard, hard way. But you know what? In a land where there is no law, it's the way of the West. Now uh, you've been watching Hangtown News Network on Placerville Area Television. Look it up on YouTube, do a good search for Eddie El Dorado. You come up with a lot of my stuff. Thanks for watching. We all love you. <laughs>